Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Herzlich willkommen zu The Sonnmeier Episode. So in this episode, we are going to look at how you can find the time to study and how you can create a study plan to make sure that you are fully prepared for your Sprachentest. So this is extremely effective. So we are going to use a very simple three-step process that I've used with over hundreds of my one-on-one -on -one students. The first step is how to find the time. One of the most common complaints that I get from my students is, I just don't have the time. But you do. You will be surprised how much time you actually have. I will show you this later in this episode. The second step is to figure out what you should be spending your time on. So there's no point in studying really hard if you are studying the wrong things. You need to spend your time and think more strategically about your study plan. And the last step is to create a study plan. I will show you an extremely simple technique that I've used with my students and that helped them to get the results they need in just several months. So let's get started with step number one, how to find the time. Any student who comes to me by saying, I really don't have the time and to study, but I want to sit the Spruch and test in the upcoming months. So I get them to sit down with me and we figure out what they normally do on a daily basis. And you will be surprised how much time you have. So here are the results. Your day. Let's imagine that you work full time. So eight hours you spend at work. To sleep, you spend normally eight hours. Let's say you have a family, so you will spend three hours with your family. You do sports, so uh, approximately one hour. And then for any other thing, one hour. So this is a total of 21 hours. Okay, so when students add all the stuff that they do on a daily basis, it always comes in well below 24 hours. So if you sit down and do that exercise yourself, you will be shocked at how much extra time you have. So here is my question to you. Where is all this extra time going? Normally, it's on lazy, unproductive things that we spend our time without us really realizing it. So smartphones. Smartphones are probably the number one culprit. And how much time do we spend on social media a day? And how much time do we spend in front of the TV? Now, I don't call you lazy or anything like that, but I guarantee that there are some parts of your day where you could be studying, but instead you are doing things that are not even relaxing. So you might also find out that you have one hour of commute time or one hour at lunchtime or one hour before starting work or one hour before you could be studying when your child children are in bed. So there are great opportunities for you to study, even if it's not one hour, but just half an hour. So when you've done that, you need to figure out a block of time each day that is yours, okay, for your language learning journey. That is your time to study and during 
X months, let's say three, four, five or six months, it never changes. So it gets a habit and you do this every day. So block off that time and you will be surprised at how effective that is. Okay. And it works. <laughs> Once you've done that, you move on to the step number two. So step number two is what to study. Now, if your goal is to pass the Sprachen test, the oral exam successfully, and you have the level A2, then your focus is no longer on reading or writing or doing exercises that are boring and not relevant. You need to solely focus on speaking and listening. Okay, example. Let's take the case of Irina, one of my students who failed at the first time at the Sprachen test. I did one mock speaking test with her and we figured out that her grammar was good, but she had difficulties in understanding my questions and her other problem was her pronunciation. So we decided to focus on improving her listening skills and her pronunciation. And the pronunciation is an evaluation criteria of the oral exam. So practice the different vowel and consonant sounds, connected speech, Repeat also aloud and practice speaking with a teacher or with a coach. This is very important. And then for the listening, get familiar with the common questions that come up in the oral exam. So practice listening, only listening, not reading and repeating aloud full sentences. So instead of telling um, Irina to repeat the A2 study book, to listen to the radio or read aloud, I told her the exact things she needed to focus on. So she spent all her time efficiently and strategically focusing on those areas. And most importantly, as she knew exactly what to study, she was able to pass the Sprachen test two months later successfully. Now the last but so crucial step is to set up your study plan. Let's imagine that you have 45 minutes a day to fit in your busy schedule for studying. And you want to take the exam in the upcoming two months. So you have 60 days to study, right? So sit down, take your calendar and set aside, let's say, 30 minutes and set up your study plan. Let's say that you know the exact content of the Sprachentest oral exam. So in my self-study online course, Master the Sprachentest online um, course, you will learn the 14 topics uh, which are currently um, given in the oral exam in 2024. And you will also learn that you need to describe a picture and you will get a lot of pra uh, pictures to practice. Uh, so this here is an idea on how to know the exact content of the Spruchentest oral exam. Okay, so once you know this uh, content of the oral exam, you can set up your schedule by completing, let's say, two, maximum three topics a week. I would recommend two, two, you do two topics a week uh, over two months. Okay, and also you prepare two or three pictures a week. So you will see that this will be sufficient to complete the content for, of the oral exam. Okay. So, and then once you have completed the task, mark them as completed because this is going to give you a sense of achievement and make sure that you stay motivated. Now, why is the setup of your study plan so crucial? Well, Maybe you are one of those people who get stressed because of the unknown, so they don't know how and what to prepare. But setting up your study plan will take off the stress because you know exactly what and when you have to prepare. You know that you have your time blocked off each day. And once you have completed a task, you just tick it off. You see that your preparation becomes much easier. So I hope 
that all of these tips will help you eventually grow to be a more confident speaker. And with my online course, Master the Spruch and Test Oral Exam, I share strategies, top tips, and the experience I have gained over the years so that you can benefit of it, gain confidence, achieve your best score at the Spruch and Test Oral Exam, and The study plan shows you exactly what you should study. So there's a study plan included in this um, Master of the Sport Test or Exam course. So you don't have to set it up yourself. So when you should study, how to study and how to get ready in just two months. So, so let's summarize this. First, You need to know when you have time to study during your busy schedule, okay? So you are aware now that most of the time you have three hours during the day where you could allocate time to study. Try to find out the 45 minutes a day where you have the time. Maybe it's in the morning before you go to work or it's during your lunchtime or it's in the evening when your children are in bed. But find out a time slot and you block off the same time slot during your study or your, your learning journey. Okay, And then this, the second step is to know what to study. So you need to know the exact content of your Spruch and Test oral exam so that you know how to allocate your time. And then the last step is to create your study plan. So I hope that this episode helps you to now be motivated to uh, find out the time and to um, set aside the time to practice and to study for your Sprachen test. And um, if you would like to practice with us, so not only with our self-study online course Master the Sprachen test, but also practice the oral speaking and get feedback from a coach on your pronunciation, on your oral skills, then you may consider uh, signing up to one of our Sprachen test prep classes. So you will find all the details about these Sprachen test prep classes in the show notes. An, ähm, ja, merci für die Nullaufstrahlen an bis nächste Woche. Adi! Musik